Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey folks, Tony Policaster here from the Acoustic Letter. Today we're going to look at the Martin D16 RGT. But before we do so, please click on the link below and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You'll be very happy that you dig, dig so. <laughs> Dude, <that's funny. laughs> please click on the link below and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. Are you hip? I think you will very much really like it a lot. <laughs> Martin D16 RGT is a standard production model from Martin, not to be confused with the standard series. The standard series is 18 and above, full gloss body and a dovetail neck joint. This is the 16 series, a little bit below. It's got a different neck joint and different bracing as well. On the D16 RGT, we have a solid Sitka spruce top underneath a gloss finish, a black rich light bridge, a tusk saddle. It's bound in white, with a bold herringbone rosette, very, very cool looking. Underneath the hood of this puppy, we have hybrid X bracing that is scalloped for maximum responsiveness. Great, huge sound from this dreadnought. And on the back, we have rosewood back and sides underneath a satin finish. That's what the R stands for in D16 RGT. The neck is made out of mahogany, has a modified low oval profile. We have a black rich light fingerboard with dot inlay, and that's bound in a white binding. We have an inch and 11 sixteenths white Corian nut, a rosewood headstock overlay with the classic Martin raised gold foil decal, small button closed back tuners, and an all around great dreadnought on a budget. So we're going to give the Martin D16 RGT a play so you can hear what it sounds like. You can hear what it sounds like. What? <laughs>
interested in this guitar, head on over to AcousticLetter.com where you can call or email us with your questions. For more acoustic guitar reviews and comparisons, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.